Hey everyone, welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Thanks so much for hanging out with us on this Thursday. It's, this is the second to last time you're going to say that. We only got one more show after this? Yeah, so let's make this one count. Let's make it count. Let's have fun. <laughs> I just got here, so I don't even know what we're talking about, what we're doing oh, today. Good. That always makes for a great show. Why are there crickets? Is there a reason? I hear crickets too. <laughs> oh, must be muggy outside. I don't know. Anyway, let's get on with this show today uh, because there's a lot of stories we got to get to, right? A lot, a lot cooking. Absolutely. Today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy. There's a new pie in town on a street known for its historic pizza. Oh, in Worcester Street, right in downtown New Haven. Yes. It's called Zanelli. It just opened its doors, and uh, it's owned by three brothers from Albania. And to all of our Albanian viewers, Trisheri Mir, that means hello, how are you? Oh, in look case at you, you speaking know, right. Albanian. Just saying, hey, well, right. you have your friend Noli. That looks delish there, though, I, I must say. But they're saying they're not trying to compete with Peppies and Sally's and all it's that different. jazz. It's different. It's a little different. So they're just trying to offer... The brother, yeah, they grew up... Uh, in Italy. In Italy, making right. pizzas, so they ah, know what they're doing. I mean, yeah. that looks pretty good. Looks beautiful. So make sure you stop on by there and check that out. Worcester Street, right here in downtown New Haven. Uh, but from one of our favorite foods to, to one not. of not one of our favorite <laughs> foods, I guess. Burger King is hoping to be the king of the impossible burger. Now, initially, I thought, oh, what are they going to put on this thing? But it's a meatless impossible Whopper. What? what that is looks that? like meat, but it's. It's not. It's imposter meat? Yeah. Uh, what, what it's is it? It's probably black beans and quinoa oh, and okay. all that well, mixed it's, together. It's a nice, I mean, for people who, who aren't into the meat, right? Sure. Meatless Mondays or whatever. Uh, okay, well, cheers to that. It's going to be in the U.S. next week, so give all it a right. try. We know where are we'll be on Monday. It? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm going to order four of them. It's going to be great. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Maybe you can put this on there because I, I do like the Burger King mustard. And now a company is trying to put out a, an, a mustard flavored ice cream. Yeah. This is gross. Why? Frenches. I mean, that's what they do. They do mustard. So that's if nasty. they want to try this ice cream out just in time for National Mustard Day, obviously, which happens to be Stop Saturday. It. Something wrong with these people. Stop it. People are saying it's not as bad as it initially you might think it is. Maybe they were paid to say that by Frenches. That looks disgusting. And then there's a, 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 there's a pretzel, pretzel on top of the with cookie. the cookie. There's something weird I mean, weird that going. I don't mind, the I, sweet I, right. and salty, but, but I don't think I'll just enjoy. This weird. All right, well, mustard. maybe we'll pick that up and try it on the show. Uh, something here that I think is, is very nice, right? At Lyman Orchards. Yeah. Got to talk about this, some, some family fun. Uh, they, they have their sunflower maze. Yeah, and it's always such an elaborate picture that they do every year. It all benefits uh, the Children's Medical Center. And there it is, the sunflower maze at Lyman Orchards. Open for business starting today. It's up and running. And look how beautiful that is. And this year's theme, I believe, is going to be Sesame Street. So it's cool. Like they've had Dancing with the Stars in the yeah. past. I mean, you visited. You've seen oh, it. A bunch of times, I think. <laughs> you know? And, and those are always fun with the family. So if you're looking for something to do this weekend, maybe you can stop on by there and check that one out. All right. So space is not off limits as the backdrop of one of the new Fast and the Furious movies. So it's like. How many are there? There's like nine, 12, right? Ten? Third, I don't know. There's a There's lot. There's a, a lot of them. So, so what's the deal here? They're going to go to outer space? Like I mean, Vin Diesel flying in a. Buzz Aldrin outfit? What's, what's the deal? <laughs> I don't really know. It hits theaters this Friday, um, and it's supposed to be very entertaining. Um, the screenwriter Chris Morgan says he's open to taking the story anywhere, and that includes space. The only condition, he says, the storyline has to stay true to its original spirit. Okay. We'll have to tune in for that Are you one, a fan I guess. of the Fast and Furious? I mean, Furious, I, I've uh, seen all the originals. I, I think, of course, Paul Walker. Uh, you know, not quite it, the same after no, he no. wasn't in them, right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's it's one of those things. They keep putting them out. People keep going to see them, and 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 they have the new Hobbs and Shaw movie with uh, uh, what's the guy's name? I don't know. There's there's a bunch of them, Tom. The the Rock and who? Idris Elba, it, Idris Elba is in uh -huh. there, and then there's one other guy. I forget. Well, I'm not anyway, because okay. I've never seen Jason it. Statham. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Clearly, we're very informed today on the show. Eh, yeah, whatever. We warned you. Yes. Uh, a rare first edition Harry Potter book with two typos just sold at an auction. Because that's what you need. You need that Did typo you read Harry Potter. Harry? I mean, this is yeah, your generation. Yeah, right. What are, you, what are you trying to say? Yeah, I mean, it was like third or fourth grade we started reading them. But, I mean, th <laughs> there are a lot of big Harry Potter fans. There's the thing down in uh, Florida yeah. at one of the amusement parks that people can check out. So, uh, you might be surprised, though. Uh, this sold for $34,000. Because equipment was spelled wrong? That's it. Wow. There's only uh, 500 to ever exist of uh, this book with those typos. I, I don't know. Would it's you a collector's item. I mean, I guess if you're into that. If you're into that type of thing. All right. 